welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm just going to take down my Bantu knots. And I blew out and straightened my hair and trimmed it over the weekend. And I've just been wearing it in Bantu knots and taking it down every day and just wearing it like that. Now my hair might be a little bit wet, especially underneath because I just came from running. But it should be okay. So yeah, um, how was everybody's Christmas? I had a fantastic Christmas being with my family. And even better, I was off work. So I got a chance to just hang out and just be with my children and my husband, which is awesome. And now New Year's is coming. I don't do New Year's resolutions. Um, I think I said this in my video last year. But yeah, I don't... I don't I mean, if you do New Year's resolutions, then that's great. It's a great way to reset your mind and spirit and your body. But I figure if I just want to make a change, I just do it any time of the year. I just, I don't want to wait until a whole new year to start something new or to change something. So I just pick what I'm going to do. My latest, what was my latest change? My latest change I've been working on is my temper. I, I have a temper. Yeah, I can get a temper. I've been working on that. Every I call day. it attitude. <laughs> I've, been, I've been working on it every day. That was my husband giving in his three cents. But yeah, I've been working on it every day, coming up with different mental strategies to calm down. And learning from what I'm teaching myself, I learned that like if I if I speak in a calm voice, it calms me down. For the most part, it works. Sometimes it doesn't because it depends on the situation, and I just I just need to release. But then I try to quickly calm down and think of a way to calm down. But you know, I'm human. Okay, I'm still working on it. I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> you have something to say? Okay. I'll leave it in the comments. <laughs> I love you. Have a good day. Make good choices. Be safe. Oh, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that's my latest resolution that I've been working on. But for the most part, I I feel like I'm getting better and calmer and trying to find my peace and try not to get so angry so quickly. And plus, I want to be a good role model for my children on teaching them how to handle their anger if they see me handling my anger. Like if I see something, like if something happens and I get like instantly mad, I'll close my eyes, put my hands together, and I'll slowly count in my head to 10. And my son knows that my magic number is eight. So when I count from one to 10, by the time I get to eight, I'm calm. So he knows that's my magic number. So then he'll say that's his magic number too. I'm like, if you're upset, just close your eyes and just count. He's like, okay, I'll count to my magic number. Or if I'm upset, he'll like, mommy, count to your magic number. I was like, okay, thank you for telling me. And I'll count to my magic number and then I'm good. <laughs> like, was, I, I, I'm a type of person, like, I, and a lot of stuff doesn't get me upset. I try, I, I'm a happy person. And, and, and it takes a lot to get me mad. So I can quickly get mad and I can quickly calm down and like instantly. And I don't know how my emotions work like that, but that's just, that's just who I am. Like if I could be extremely upset one second and then I can literally turn around and I'm, I'm calm. It doesn't work like that all the time, but sometimes. So that's what I'm working on lately. <laughs> Love you. My husband keeps giving calm. Okay, you don't need to hear what he's saying. <laughs> but yeah, so if you guys want to share, you can tell me what your um, New Year's resolutions are or what you guys have been working on. Isn't this so cute? I mean, look at this. This is so pretty. But I don't want any hair on my neck. Or you can tell me what you guys have been working on um, for self-reflection, whether it's career, family, or mental um anything just leave it in the comments and we can have a discussion so i only have let's see how many more days do i have 
I only have a couple more days, a few more days with my children. And before they have to go back to school and I'm not liking it. I mean, even though sometimes they like drive me crazy, but man, I am going to miss them so much, like so much. I'm not ready for them to leave. <laughs> I want them to stay home a little bit longer. Just stay with me. Like, I, I mean, even though I work from home for the most part, I still want them to be here with me, even while I'm working and have all the little snuggle sessions or whatever. I'm going to miss them. They go back to school Tuesday at right after New Year. Okay, so I'm using one hairpin. This is the second hairpin. I'm trying not to use that many hairpins. And I'm just pinning it up in the back like this. I try to hide the hairpins too because I don't want to show. And then my flyaways. Gotta have the flyaways. So if you guys wondering about this amazing color in my hair that's looking like ombre, over the spring, I was using um, Clairol Temporary Hair Dye. And I was, if, you, if you've been watching my channel, I've been trying to dye my hair red. But not like a full-on dye, just like temporary. So I've been using, I was using a, um, a demi color, which was like um, a bright red color. And it wasn't working at first, like it was slowly working. And it's, it lasts for 28 washes. And so I colored my hair. I, okay, so I colored my hair at the beginning of the month. Didn't like it. Colored my hair at the end of the month. And then I was like, oh, I should be doing this. I was like, I just think I need one more. And then I colored my hair again the next month. Now, you not should be coloring, you should not be coloring your hair that much, even though it's made with a lot of a natural, it was not all natural, but a lot of natural ingredients in there, so it doesn't like damage my hair. I'll get back to that. But um, then it started showing color. I'm like, okay, well, I, I think I've achieved the red look. I'm just gonna leave it like this. But then my roots start growing, and then you get this beautiful ombre look, and then it makes the red pop out even more. So pretty, so pretty. But warning: do not even if even though it's um, demi permanent color, do not use it that many times because my hair was so dry for like a month straight. I had to use extra conditioner, extra leave-in conditioner, extra African shea. I had to be very delicate with my hair because it was so dry. Which is typical if you're like, you know, coloring your hair. But, you know. Okay, so this is the result of my updo. Isn't it cute? <laughs> okay, guys, so that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And push the notification button. That way you know the next time I upload a video, which is every week. And happy new year i hope this new year is prosperous and positive and good fortune for everybody including ourselves hopefully we get a house this year hopefully we've been looking for so long it's in the universe positive vibes positive vibes until next time bye